In this video, we will learn how you can automatically create an order in ship day when an order is received via WooCommerce. So let's say you want every time an order is received via WooCommerce or new order is placed via WooCommerce, an order should be created in ship day simultaneously. So we are going to automate this entire process using Pabbly Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To automatically create an order in ship day when an order is placed in WooCommerce, let us first go to Pabbly's website. You can see the landing page of Pabbly. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. Well, if you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabbly Connect. Okay, it's loading. On the top right, you can see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write WooCommerce to ship day. Okay, it's processing. Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when a payment is made, an action can be send a confirmation message to the user. In our case, a trigger can be when an order is placed in WooCommerce, the action can be create an order in ship day. So let us begin and select WooCommerce as our trigger application. For the trigger event, we will select new order created. Now you will see it has generated a webhook URL like this. A webhook URL is basically a link that connects two applications. So let us copy this webhook URL and follow these steps so as to know how we will set up the webhook URL in WooCommerce. So the first says navigate to the left side, left side bar of WooCommerce and settings. Okay, let us come here. The WooCommerce you will see here in settings, let us click settings. Now let us see what it says. Now we have to go to advanced tab, then webhooks and then click add webhooks button. Okay. So here on the top, you will see advanced tab. Click there. And now here, here you will see webhooks. Again, we'll go here. And now add webhook option will come. Click there. And you will see this here in the name. You can just write any. I'm going to write ship day test. You can give the name as per your requirement. Now status, I have to make it active. Add it as it is written here. Set status to active and then choose a topic as order created. Okay. So order, I would want to set the trigger for order created. Selected order created. Now in the delivery URL, remember the one, this URL that we copied from here. So we are going to paste the URL here. All right. And now let us just click on save webhook. So you will see webhook updated successfully. Now let us come to Pabbly Connect and you will see it has shown webhook ID in the response. So let us click on recapture webhook response. Yes, we wish to recapture. And now you will see it is waiting for a webhook response. Now we will go to WooCommerce and place a dummy order there. So to see if we have success, successfully set the integration between WooCommerce and Pabbly. Okay. So here I'll go to my WooCommerce. You will see I've added this Tandoori Paneer Pizza in our cart. I've given these, uh, the address details over here. Now I will click proceed to checkout. Here, I'm going to just give the username. You will see I have updated the details, billing details, first name sample, last name demo, then the street address is here, Oak Street Bhopal, and then the email address. I've given all the customer information here. This is my total, that is 400 rupees for Tandoori Paneer Pizza. I'm just going to click on place order. Okay, it's processing like you can see here and now you will see the order has been received you can see these details here the email address of the customer the total bill order number and the product here 
Okay. Now let us come back to Pavli and see if it has captured the response. It has captured the response. It has also generated this ID, which we will be using in the later step. The status is processing. And now if you will scroll down, you'll see the first name, the last name of the customer, the customer's address details, that is house number 256, Oak Street and other details. The customer's email address is here. And if you will further scroll down, you will find other details as well. You can see the product item that the customer ordered in the, the Indi Tanturi Paneer Pizza. All right. Now, so this means we have successfully integrated WooCommerce with Pabli. Now on to our action step. So here we will select ship day. Now for the action event, we will select create order and connect. We will add new connection and you will see it needs an API key over here. So let us see the let us see how we can get the API key. You can read the help text, log into ship day account. I am already logged in. Then go to integration. So I'm going to open integrations here in a new tab. Okay. And since I'm already logged into my ship day, ship day account, I will not have to give my credentials here. So it's processing like you can see. And here it is. Come to direct integrations and you will see the API key. Now click on show API key. So this is your API key and just copy it. Come back to Pabli and paste it. Now let us click on save and you will see it's connected. Now you will see it is asking for a few details. We will map them. So order number, we will use the order. The, remember the ID that was generated here when we received the response. I'll show you the ID. This, this ID we are going to use for the as the order number because every time Pabli captures the response, it is going to generate a unique ID and therefore we will be using this ID as order number. So let us click and you will find the ID. But before we map in this ID, you must be thinking where are we getting these WooCommerce details here in our ship day action step. So for that, I will take you to step one where we integrated WooCommerce with Pabli did a test submission, placed a dummy order and Pabli captured the order details and the customer details here. So Pabli had brought exactly same details over here into the action step. So now, and that's how we are going to map it. So we are going to click on WooCommerce and take the ID as the order number. Now for the customer name, again, we are going to search using name and you will find the first name. Give a space. And again, we will search using name to get the last name quickly. So this would be the customer name, customer address. Again, we are going to take from WooCommerce. Let us search using address here. And you will see this house number, this. Give us space. Again, we will search using address. You will find Oak Street. Again, give us space. And search using city, you will find Bhopal. Okay, so this is the full customer address. Now, let us also take the email. Search using email for quick result. Here is the email sample at pablitudes.com. If you want phone number, you can take that as well. So, let us quickly map phone number. This is the phone number. So, restaurant name, you can map from the response. I'm simply going to write... Let me write just Pizza Hut. Let me correct the casing. Okay. Now, these since these fields are not mandatory, restaurant address, phone number, I'm going to leave them empty. Same for latitudes and longitudes. I'm going to leave these flat, uh, fields blank. Now comes the total order cost. Okay. So let me search using, yes, this is the total. So I've given the cost here. Scroll down, you will need the item name. Okay. So I'm going to search using line item and you will see the product name. Indeed, Tandoori Paneer. Okay, that was the pizza that we ordered. Now the order item price. Again, we are going to search using this and you will see the price here for the quantity. Again, we are going to search using quantity and you will get one. That was just one pizza that we had ordered. So we have given almost all the details, all the required details here. Just one thing before I click on save and send test request. So these mapped in details, the fields that I have mapped in like order item name, 
item price here, the cost here, and then the customer address name, order number. The these mapped in fields from next time will automatically be updated. So what will happen is next time when a new order is created here in WooCommerce, here in ship date, these mapped in details like order number, customer name, customer address. If you scroll down, you will find quantity and the order item name. These mapped in fields will automatically pick the new data and you will not have to manually do it. Okay, so now let us click on save and send test request. And you will see we have received the response. It has also generated this order ID and the status is success. Now let us go to ship day account and see if such an order was created there. Okay, so this is my sh ship day account. And here you can see an order from this restaurant is created on the name of this customer sample demo. This is the customer's address. And you will see the amount, total amount that was rupees 400. So this means we have successfully integrated our ship day and WooCommerce using Pabli Connect. I hope this video was helpful for you. For more such videos, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For further queries, you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com.